you're just, just throwing that out there, aren't you? Um, no, but the New York Knicks have won what? Six straight games now? Let me fact check that. I think they've won six straight games and they took down the Boston Celtics and pretty much completely locked up uh, Mr. Jason Tatum. And uh, Jalen Brunson wasn't even all that crazy last night. RJ Barrett didn't look good. Julius Randle continues to do his thing. And yeah, Emmanuel quickly has been great. Um, I can't remember what the six man of the year award race is looking like. He Once did, Russ it, left it, it's three eyes. It's uh, Norman Powell and fuck, I'm forgetting the other guy. Norman Powell, Bob, oh, Bob Portis is out of it now. Brogdon. Bro, yeah, it was Brogdon, Norman Powell, and Manuel Quickly last time I checked. Quickly's on a heater right now. I don't, that is interesting. I think he'd have to continue to do what he's done the last month or so for the rest of the season it's just a lot of the six mans have gone a lot of the six mans have gone hurt that's why yeah. like, he's he's climbed up like literally you want to see a cool graph this is the six man of the year graph this is how the rankings have gone throughout the season dang all right so right here this was russell westbrook oh benedict Mathurin. Mathurin. like Mathurin. i love this this is a dope ass graphic right here this shows the six man of the year race so far this season this is pretty go cool. Top 10. Let's see what it looks like. Top 10. All right, top 10. Right here. Oh, so right here, Malcolm Brogdon starts the season. Okay. Who's all the way? All right. Look at Brogdon. Up here is. So if we go. There's a lot of colors. There's a lot of blue that, colors. I'm going, back, I'm going back to this one. <laughs> so right here, Russell Westbrook on January 19th was the favorite. He falls off. Right now, the favorite is Malcolm Brogdon, then Normal Powell, then Tyrese Maxey, then Russell Westbrook, then Benedict Mather. And I think Emmanuel quickly needs to join this list. Like if, I, I, if he played like this for the rest of the season, for sure, I, I don't... I don't know. Um, You're a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm trying to be realistic. Brockton's had a huge impact on the Boston Celtics, and I think it would be hard for him to lose that. For the uh, New York Knicks, you mean not the Boston Celtics? Malcolm Brockton's impact? Oh, oh, dude, I thought you said it. No, no, no. Yeah, so I... You know what? I think you're right. That probably sounded bad. He, he should be in the conversation. Okay, um, yes. The body of work. Front runner. So Brogdon and Powell would have to get hurt if it quickly to win it. Brogdon's <laughs> running away with the award right now. Yeah, he, Brogdon probably. Who's the but, other guy you said? Norman Powell and Benedict Mathis. Yeah, I think he could pass. I mean, Norman Powell also had a great season. But I think yeah. he could pass Powell. Um, yeah, I mean, Brogdon, when he's. Dude, he scored 20 and 40. How does quickly fit, though? Is he just going to be their sixth man for the next foreseeable future if they extend him? Or do you hopefully think that maybe you move on from RJ Barrett this summer for somebody else and you have quickly and Grimes and, you know, Brunson? It certainly makes it a lot easier because you have more out or not easier, but it certainly gives you more options, more versatility, which is always a great problem to have. I. I, unless RJ really shows out in the playoffs, I am anticipating he's gone. The Knicks so are signing if... Dwayne Washington Jr. to a two-way contract. So bye-bye, Rose. To a two-way contract, bud. It's because they uh, signed Trevor Keels. Oh, Trevor Keels is back. On a 10-day contract. I, I, mean, I have so much use I like to name, but like that doesn't – probably won't play for him much. I mean – Trevor Keels is a thick boy. I like Trevor Keels. 